Apostle Charlie Reddish, good day to each and every one of you, a well-to-do day. Let's get ready to feast in the word of the Lord for this new year. Let's stay focused. Let's eat. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more word we hear, the more faith we gather. And man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So let's get ready to feast at the table of the Lord. I will be reading today from the book of Isaiah, chapter 23 through chapter 27. The book of Isaiah, chapter 23 through chapters 27. The book of Isaiah, chapter 23, verse 1. The burden of Tyre. How, ye ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste, so that there is no house, no entering in. From the land of Chittim it is revealed to them. Be still, ye inhabitants of the isle, thou whom the merchants of Zion, that pass over the sea, have replenished. And by great waters the seed of Sihar, the harvest of the rivers of revenue, and she is marked of nations. Be thou shame, O Zion, for the sea has spoken. Even the strength of the sea, saying, I travail not, nor bring forth children, neither do I nourish up young men, nor bring up virgins. As at the report concerning Egypt, so shall they be sorely pained at the report of Tyre. <clears throat> Pass ye over to Tarshish, how ye inhabitants of the isle. Is this your joyous city? whose antiquity is of ancient days, her own feet shall carry her far off to a sojourn. Who has taken this counsel against Tyre, the crowning city, whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth? The Lord of hosts has purposed it to stain the pride of all glory and to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth. Pass through thy land as a river, O daughter of Tarshish. There is no more strength. He stretched out his hand over the sea. He shook the kingdoms. The Lord has given a commandment against the merchant city to destroy the strongholds thereof. And he said, Thou shalt no more rejoice, O thou oppressed virgin, daughter of Zidon. Arise, pass over to Shittim. There also shalt thou have rest. Behold the land of Sh the Chaldeans. This people was not till the Assyrians found it for them that dwell in the wilderness. They set up the towers thereof. They raised up the palaces there, and he brought it to ruin. How ye ships of Tarshish, for your strength is laid waste. And it shall come to pass in that day that Tyre shall be forgotten seventy years, according to the days of one king. After the end of seventy years shall Tyre sing as an harlot. Take in heart, go about the city, thou harlot that has been forsaken. Make sweet melody, sing many songs that thou mayst re be remembered. And it shall come to pass after the end of 70 years that the Lord will visit Tyre and she shall turn to her high and she'll commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world. And upon the face of the earth and her merchandise and her high shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured nor laid up for her merchandise shall be for them that dwell before the Lord to eat sufficiently and for durable clothing. The book of Isaiah, chapter 24, commencing at verse 1. The book of Isaiah, commencing at verse 1. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priests, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower. As with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore has the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. 
Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. A new, mind, a new wine mourneth, divine language. All the merry-hearted do sigh. The mirth of tabret ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong, sh strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up, that no man may come in. There is a crime for wine in the streets, and all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. In the city left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. When dust shall it be in the midst of the land among the people? There should be as a shaking of an olive tree, and as the gleaming grapes when the fences is done. They shall lift up their voice, they shall sing for the majestic of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. Wherefore, glorify ye the Lord in the fires, even the name of the Lord God of Israel in the isles of the sea. From, up, from the utmost part of the earth have we heard songs, even glory to the righteous. But I said, my leanness, my leanness, warned to me, the treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Yea, the treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. And it shall come to pass that he who flees from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. And it shall fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancients gloriously. The book of Isaiah chapter 25, commencing at verse 1. O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithful and truth, for thou hast made of a city a heap, of a defense city a ruin, a palace of strangers to be no city. It shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nation shall fear thee, for thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible one shall be brought low. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the leaves, of fat things full of marrow, of wines and on the leaves well refined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces and the rebukes of his people shall be taken away from off the earth for the Lord has spoken it. And it should be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. <clears throat> we have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for a dunghill. And he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them. As he that is swimmeth spreads forth his hands to swim, and he shall bring down their pride, together with the spoils of the hands, and the fortress of the high fort of thy wall shall be brought down, lay low, and brought to the ground, even to the dust. The book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-six, 
commencing at verse 1. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates, that the righteous nations which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city, he layeth it low, and layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is unrighteous. Thou, most upright, does weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is thy name, and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit with me, within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of the upright will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Ye, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. O Lord, our God, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. They are dead. They should never live. They are deceased. They should not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord. Thou hast increased the nation. Thou art glorified, and thou hast removed it far unto all the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them, like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery, is in pain and crieth out in her pangs. So have we been in thy sight, O Lord. We've been with child. We've been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth. Neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in the dust. For thy dew as as the dew of herbs. And the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people. Enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood, and shall no more cover her slain. The book of Isaiah, chapter 27, commencing at verse 1. In that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan the piercing serpent, even Leviathan that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Fury is not in me. Who would set the brides and the thorns against me in battle? I'll go through them. I will burn them up together. Let him take a hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. He shall cause them that come of Jacob, the, the root, to take root. Israel shall blossom and bud, and fill the face of the world with fruit. As he smitten him, as he smote those that smote him, or as he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him, in measure, when it shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it. He stayeth his rough wind in the day of the east wind. By this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged. And this is all the fruit to take away for his sins. When he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in asunder, the groves and the images shall not stand up. 
Yet the defense city shall be desolate, and the habitation forsaken, and left like a wilderness. There shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down, and consume the branches thereof. When the bows thereof are withered, they shall be broken off. The women come and set them on fire, for it is a people of no understanding. Therefore, he that made them will not have mercy on them. He that formed them will show them no favor. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt. And ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. And it shall come to pass in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown. And they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria. And the outcasts in the land of Egypt. And shall worship the Lord in the holy mount at Jerusalem. Thus I've read the book of uh, Isaiah chapters 23 through 27. I pray that something was read that got it got your attention. Something fell on the good ground of your, the heart, your heart from the word of the Lord. Let's continue to tune in. Continue to invite others to, co to tune in. Let's make this, this uh, reading grow this year like never before. Praise God. Thank you once again for tuning in. There might be someone listening this morning. You want to give your life to the Lord. You want to see a change take place in your life this year. You want to see a turnaround. Well, I'm here this morning to let you know that God is the only one that can really help you turn your life around. And he's open and willing to receive you as his child. Just repeat this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross, gave his life, that I could have life, and that more abundantly. I thank you, Lord, for saving me. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, and I receive him now as my Lord, as my Savior, as my Master, as my soon-coming King. And I thank you, Lord God, for saving me today. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you met that prayer, you are a saved person. You are a saved, just as saved as I am, just as saved as Jesus is, because you have been called out of darkness into God's marvelous light. Just by repeating that prayer, you've been called out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. You are now a son or a daughter of God. And God will look out for you. God will protect you. God will keep you. God will strengthen you. God will motivate you. God will encourage you. And we invite you to Life Changes Covenant Ministries, 2140 Eleanor Drive, North Charleston, South Carolina. We pray that we'll see you there real soon. So until the next time, I want you to know this. Jesus loves you. I love you. And may God richly bless you is my prayers. And don't you ever forget this. Don't call it the way you see it. Call it the way you want it to be. God bless.